Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. Getting a live look now inside of the flight control room here in Houston, Texas, as the Orbit 2 team is currently on console orbiting, monitoring systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Today's Orbit 2 team is being led by Flight Director Brian Smith, and joining him at console there on the screen is Capcom Rob Hayhurst, serving as the communication link between controllers here on the ground and astronauts up in space. And those astronauts currently on board are the crew of Expedition 30, and they are comprised of NASA astronaut and Expedition 30 Commander Dan Burbank there in the left middle of your screen. Standing behind him, arrived on the station alongside Burbank are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. On the right side, you have the three newest members of the International Space Station crew, Andrei Kuipers there in the back left, Russian cosmonaut Olog Kononenko there in the right center, and then on the far right, rounding out the crew is NASA astronaut Don Pettit. The crew awoke this morning at about midnight central time and started off their day with some pre-sleep activities and then a daily planning conference. Commander Dan Burbank is spending much of his day rounding out the EPIC software upgrade, EPIC standing for the Enhanced Processor and Integrated Communications. And this is a major overhaul of the guidance, navigation, and control, command and control, and payload computers, providing them with faster processors, more memory, and an Ethernet interface for data output. You can see a little bit of video here as he works on replacing those cards, and he was assisted throughout the day by fellow NASA astronaut Don Pettit. Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov spent much of his day today doing some inspection and photography of the windows on the Russian Zvezda or service module. He will also be participating in the Russian BAR experiment, which is a selection and testing of detection methods for means uh, of detecting any depressurization on International Space Station modules. Fellow Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin will also be participating in that BAR experiment and also doing some work on the Zvezda ventilation system, some routine maintenance, and also some stowage work with the remaining cargo in the 45 Progress vehicle. Final Russian cosmonaut Olag Kononenko is working today uh, for the third day in a row on the Plasma Crystal 3 experiment, very complex Russian experiment observing dust particles and that are charged and behave as a plasma. He will also be taking part in the Siner experiment and investigation of the world oceans and also doing some photo and video for that BAR experiment. European astronaut Andre Kuipers started his day gathering some more trash from the U.S. segment for disposal on the Progress and then also taking some O2 readings in the service module and the Columbus module. He's doing some work on the water recovery and management system as well as taking some time out of his day earlier to talk with Dutch media. And the final member of the Expedition 30 crew, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, did some, uh, some assistance work with those EPIC upgrades with Commander Burbank, as well as doing some tests on his own body, doing a vision test and an on-orbit hearing assessment. And those will be his major activities for the day. The crew is scheduled to go to sleep at about 3.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, bringing their Thursday to a close.